we have it. Thank you very much, Dad Rock. Uh, oh, here, Dad Rock every one night on available one. for weddings, bar mitzvahs, uh, and any other type of uh, yes. occasion where Dad Rock is required. It is to back. any occasion. It's not just. It's just any time and any occasion. Indeed. So today, uh -huh. Pete and I are celebrating an Yes, um, everything you see in the picture is on offer today. This guitar, any of these amplifiers, Me. that guitar in multiple colours. Yes, Pete's soul, we're selling it all. Oh, that's um, sold already, unfortunately. <laughs> but Should we start with the amps? Kidneys and stuff. Yes, let's do uh, that. Okay, Black Star, <laughs> HT1, the baby one, and HT5, the bigger one. These are all Mark II versions. They've been around for about five years now in Black Star's catalogue. Uh -huh. uh, there is a monstrous deal on the limited edition, limited edition. <laughs> the limited edition colors that have been released over the last year I or like two. these colors. So we've got this color called Bronco, which is the gray, <laughs> which is available in the HT1 or the HT5. Mm -hmm. We've got this color called Baby Blue, which uh, you can uh -huh. see in the in the one here with this sort of, um, what do you call that? Wicker. Wicker uh, grill. Wicker man. There, are, there is also a, uh, HD5 available in this color. Maybe we'll show it on screen now. Mm. And then if green is your thing, you can only have the green in the HD5. Uh, there's no HD1 in the green. Oh, right. The, uh, it's green. only the colors that make these different to a regular black HD1 uh, or HD5. Um, so everything's the same spec regardless of the color. But check this out. What a deal. The little HT1s, these are all valve amplifiers, by the way. Yeah, yeah. They're not solid state, these are valve amplifiers with loads of cool features that we'll go through in a minute. Um, price reduction will be on the screen now because I've forgotten what the was price was, but these are $1.99 now mm -hmm. for an HT1 and $2.99 for an HT5. Yeah, it's great, man. Um, should it's we go through Let's features? Do it. So, uh, we're going to use the, uh, the green one for no reason other than the fact that the mic's not in the way of, of where the knobs are and everything knobs. like that. Uh, actually, we will use the grey one as well because there's one feature, a DI feature, and we've already got it set up using the grey one. But yes. anyway, so just a quick overview. In fact, we might as well literally, you might as well hear it as we go along. So I've turned all my pedals off. In that mm. opening jam, by the way, I was using the drive channel so of I. the amplifier, and then I was using a um, Wamplatumnus to just do that's that lead it guitar there, it? solo thing. That's not what it's called on your board. Not on my, it's not what oh. you've called it, no, but that's, that's what it is called. That's nothing to do with me. Okay, so over here, we've got a clean sound here with two voices. In fact, we might as well just hear these as I yes. go through. So clean, clean sound with its own tone control here, sounds like like this. Oh, no tuner yet. Yeah, thank you very much. Here we go. So uh, this is beautiful. Uh, by the way, so no pedals now and the reverb you're hearing is the reverb built in. Nothing happens when you shake the neck. Big, full, clean sound. Nice sounds bass sound. I like that. The voice switch uh, takes a little bit of bass sound. Uh, I can't speak today. That's my fine. new false teeth. Yeah, yeah. Um, takes a bit Tons of the bass feet. out and sort of <laughs> pronounces the mid range a bit more, but. Now is a good time to tell you that this foot switch uh, comes with the HT5, the bigger one, and allows you to do that voice switch and the channel switch. Uh, That's very handy. You have to buy it as an optional extra if you um, decide the HT1 is for you. Mm. Let's go overdrive with the gain all the way down. Now, interestingly, the the over the EQ section, which is bass, middle, treble, and Black Star's uh, infinite shape feature uh, on the HT5, is only assigned to the overdrive channel. So I've got an only... infinite shape feature as well, okay. just up and down like that. And wait, Infinitely just... going that way. And then that's the problem, isn't <laughs> back it? Back in, back out, um, in, out. Right, uh, again. Sorry. There you go, like a low gain, crunchy tone. Turn it up a little bit so I can Volume freely wise. breathe. Yeah. yeah. Now, 
This guitar is great. Man. It's a great guitar. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about the deal minute. on that in a minute. Uh, obviously, I can. I've got loads of stuff I can do with loads. the gain channel here. So if I just stay on voice one, but maybe put the, the gain up to sort of two thirds. <laughs> That's for us downstairs. That may have been more appropriate for voice two, which gains it up a bit more. Okay, about um, too many things. If you've not seen a, a Blackstar HT video before, you won't be familiar with the ISF. Now, so ISF, it basically, it's a, it's like a notched, filtered, sort of sweepy EQ. They market it as kind of all the way one way is like American sounding, all the way the other way is the British sound. So you decide if that's what it's uh, reminding you of. But here we go with ISF sweeping. <laughs> Obviously, I'm anyway. not going to demonstrate bass, middle, and treble. I'm sure you guys know what that <gasps> does. Um, I'm going to go back to that slightly more bluesy tone that yeah. we had at the beginning there, because I think what will be nice is to show you again how well it works with something like a Tumnus. Remember the little switch there, at the end, which is great for I'm going to do home. that. I'm going to do that too. I, that's, that is, that's a great yeah. feature of this amp. So let's go back home. to like a, a low volume setting that maybe Pete might use as a rhythm tone. Or oh, rhythm. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then I would put... Oh. So Tumnus, which is like a little bit of gain, but mainly more like a EQ boosty thing. So Boost. we put that in now. That's great, works really, really well like that. If I go back to the clean channel, maybe I'll put Pete's favorite Dane pedal over <gasps> the top. You can kind of see it does take pedals really, really well. does it take pedals really well in the front it also has an effects loop if in going back. in the back is your <laughs> preference um reverb Come is built in. Said that. it's a digital it's what it where so, is you're so embarrassing man <laughs> i am very it's dad so today embarrassing it's uh, unbelievable right, let's show you what this sounds like with a little bit of reverb shaking my head on this man honestly terrible and then with a lot of reverb a lot of reverb it's switch on the end is a little uh, power reduction switch so it's going to go from five watts in which is what we've been playing in down to half a watt so perhaps that'll make more sense if I do it whilst Pete's playing let's go back to like a drivey That's, sound that takes it from source to a jus exactly that's what it is yeah. we never put it like that before no, absolutely. it have source jus <laughs> Great for bedroom. Yeah. yeah. So um, some of the features that are on the back, we'll have to do a sweep of that to show you, but they will include a USB socket. So again, you mm -hmm. can use that as an audio interface if yes. you want to. Yeah. Uh, you have got a balanced, a three pin DI output that you can switch <sighs> between correct. either a 112 or a 412 really nice uh, emulation. That and we're going to hear that in just a second. Uh -huh. You've got uh, MP3 line input. So again, you can jam along to your music. It's not Bluetooth, With obviously. With your MP3 player, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a 12 inch speaker inside here which again it's black star custom designed we were talking before we started filming wouldn't it be fun to put like a celestian cream back in here or i something? would love to try because i think inevitably it would make this amp breathe yeah any amplifier at this kind of price point's probably gone for a fairly affordable speaker in there yeah uh yeah we talked about the effects loop with a with its own switch um uh -huh. so i think that's basically uh 
everything you need to hear about the HT5 well, R. Tell me about this first before we go on. Okay. Please, so, because I absolutely love this guitar. It is a great guitar. So this is the basic SE range Starla. So Starla is, uh, denotes the, the style. You can buy Starlas mm. all through the um, PRS range from CE to custom to wherever you want to do. But this is SE, so this will be one of the more affordable ones. We've got a pair of PRS humbuckers on there with a coil split, yeah. uh, a three-way toggle. <laughs> um, it's a sort of a pretty traditional, uh, slightly wider Street feeling um, PRS neck. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit, you, you've, got to, you've got to like something that's a little bit chunkier. Yeah, it's kind of less poorly, um, yeah. but not 58. It's more like a so 59. The, these, were on a, these were on a deal from PRS the other day. So I think the list price on these is about 700 quid. So these are 499. Yeah, good deal. Uh, only in black with the torque guard. Uh, comes with a gig bag. Mm -hmm. Um, or mahogany and, guitar as well, 24, 25-inch uh, scale length, so it's got a, it's got a nice take, feel take to it. Take us through some tones on that. Take us through some tones with that, yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm losing my mind here today, ladies and gentlemen, but that's, that's fine, because I have to lose it doing something that at least I enjoy. If you don't give me a clean tone, please. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Uh, please. Um... I prefer PRS's split pickups to uh, Gibson's split pickups. Controversial. Controversial. Middle position. And what happens there? We split both then in that position. I guess, yeah. See what I mean, though? I really like the scratch plate. It's designed to have a slightly more retro look, maybe, than, yeah. a, than a, a PRS Custom 22 or I Custom I like the shape of this. Back position. <laughs> Let's just go <laughs> over to the grey one. Um, we'll set the oh, you sounds want to hear up the here. DI out. Yeah, and what I will do is now this is a cool feature, right? So there's a DI out on here. Now, uh -huh. you it doesn't work. It doesn't disengage the internal speaker. So you've got two sort of options here, really. One is if you're playing live, there's. I don't think five watts is really loud enough to play live with. No. But Bob Chapman would tell you otherwise, well, though. Well, it's probably just about loud enough to hear yourself on stage if, if it's not too big a, a gig. So what you can do is you can DI out, give the yeah. sound man the XLR so, yeah. so that your main sound is coming out of the front of house without needing to mic up, and then leave it on its five watt mode and then you'll just about hear this, I think, on stage, maybe a little bit through, back through the wedge you'll as well. You'll have to, yeah, I think, once you've got a or drummer banging around. if you're recording, uh -huh. um, absolutely uh -huh. put it into its half a watt mode, and then it's crazy quiet at home, mm -hmm. and just maybe listen through the um, headphones of your yeah. interface or something like that. What a USB straight um, into the computer works as well. Yeah, isn't it? absolutely. So, so many, many options. Let's have a little listen. So now you are just hearing, uh, we'll just literally go through from clean to dirty, maybe I'll throw a pedal on or whatever, dirty. but you're now only hearing the DI output from here, not the microphone anymore.
of gain? I think, I think honestly, we've just reinforced why the HT5R has been Our. such a popular amplifier for Blackstone. Because yeah. even at its normal price, which is about 500 quid, I think, yeah. it's a good little option for someone that wants a compact amp to use at home. But 299 and and stuff, yeah, in absolutely. these amazing colours, whatever you like the best, just to, to reiterate again, you can go blue, grey or you can green. Two. You're going to have two in the stereo stereo. Setup. That's a shout. You know what? I might even, because not only do you get then stereo, but you've then also doubled the amount of stage volume you've got as well. So yeah. it's, it's, that's not a bad shout, Mr. Pete. Um, I know, that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's uh, look at the little Diddy amplifiers. Okay, so here's the little HT1. So again, if you really need something that's small, home use only now really, well, I'm recording as well, I guess. Yeah, um, I'll Very, very some. small. Um, the main, main differences between the, the two here, other than the, the, the volume differences, we're going for a much smaller speaker and enclosure. Yeah. So I think we're down to an eight inch driver now and we've lost maybe half the knobs or something like that. So a much simpler panel here, gain, volume, EQ and reverb. What is cool though, again, I mentioned this before, mm. the two button foot switch, which you have to buy as an optional extra, but you can still get your four different settings from here. Uh, you've still got your uh, emulated output, albeit now just on a mini jack rather than um, XLR, uh, although it does double up as a headphone output. Okay. Uh, you can still run North. your MP3 player in. MP3, MP3 I feel player. so old saying that. What it, that's what it is. Yeah, but it's, it's not a... Uh, you know yeah, what I mean? remember like you a, bought an MP3 and you had to upload the music to it like, like an iPod. Anything that you've got still that plays iPod. music and it goes out through a little mini jack thing you can plug into there. Uh, on the back is, uh, oh, this is interesting. So on the back, obviously you've got foot switch, USB, but you've also got a speaker output. So you yeah. could, you could max run this into, into a like 4x12. a 4x12 if you wanted, or just a bigger cab. That'd make a massive difference. Absolutely. Uh, we're just gonna use the blue one and we're just gonna literally step through the, the four tones. So here's our clean voice one. Baby blue. <laughs> It's not a big sound, but it's, it, it doesn't, doesn't offend have the anyone. End, no, does it, it, it but doesn't. But I'm on the bridge. Still sounds decent. That's better. But this is when the middle position comes in. Uh huh. Should we try Dane, which, <laughs> uh, ridiculously speaking, is actually <laughs> sixty pounds dearer than the entire amplifier? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So that was voice one. Voice two on the clean channel is this. More low end. Than See, that's interesting. Yeah. I think taking away the low end and pushing the mid range a bit sort of works okay on the HT5 because yeah. it's a big, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't do that on this. I, I think if you take more bass end away, it's, it's, it, that, it doesn't sound better. It's, um, it's a bit, uh, it sounds like, you know, the, what I keep saying, the, the, uh, the bucket. It's, yeah. it's, it's like tinny, yeah. isn't it? It's a tinny. Although, if you put this into a bigger speaker, yeah. 100%, Absolutely. you might want to do that. Uh, gain one. And it does good. Gain two. Too much reverb on it. And lots of gain for Pete's Metallica special. That's your little HT1. I got. I got to be honest with you. I don't think there is a better looking, cute little amplifier 
for you know playing at home than either of these. So I think they look absolutely great. And again, one ninety nine, absolute bargain. Um, so one, we've man. got one more epic deal for you. Can uh, I give you that over there? On, of course you can. Yes, which is an Ibanez epic deal. We don't do enough Ibanez uh, epic deals. This is so light. Um, it is really light, isn't it? Have a cable. I've got uh, one. I've got one. Oh, you got one? Yeah, what are you going into the grey one? Are you? My, no worries. Well, I can't. Myself. I can't control uh, your knobs no, if you're in the grey one. I'm afraid. That's fine. Standard. I can control uh, my own knob. Pete's fri ultimate Friday night out. Okay, so this is a special offer on a model called the S561. Show them the S series. Uh, so S is obviously the thin uh, shape guitar, body shape that Ibanez do. This guitar, this is where it gets complicated and I've got to read my notes here. Okay, so the S561 is the HSS model uh -huh. and that is available in two colors. One called pink gold metallic matte and the other called seafoam green matte. George. Yes. Um, <laughs> that has been reduced from 429 down to 329, so 100 pound off that. Uh, and again, you can get that in the in the pink or the green. It's the same guitar. However, same price, 329, same body shape, same neck, everything. There is also an S521, which is a dual humbucker version, which we have in blue, which will on be on screen the screen now. now. There aren't very many of these. I'm not no. entirely sure. I'm slightly worried that by the time we edit this video, yeah, and come out, they'll all be gone. But you can go and find that out. Links will be below. Have so, they done a brown one? So we've got Ibanez Quantum Pickups. We've got the Wizard 3 Maple Neck with a rosewood <laughs> fretboard. It's a hard tail called the F106 Bridge. It is, what is the body made of? Because it's crazy lightweight, this, it's isn't it? It's also thin, isn't it? Look uh, at that neck, man. Oh, that's... its body is Maranti. That's, um... Do you do? Did, did. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dance, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay, five-way switch. Uh, it doesn't great neck. come with a case or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, 329. Not bad with at all. Mr. Pete, let's hear some tonage. Let's do it. So let's start on the neck, pick up. Shaking the neck never makes any difference. It sings, it's nice, nice. These two together. Middle position. So here we, I don't know what's happening exactly here, but we're probably going into something. I would imagine it's a split. Isn't it? If I just done my research, that's, that's a good sound. Give me some gain. Bit of gain. Yes, man, uh, just a bit of a... Okay. before where we were really impressed with them I think I I know the one you mean there's an even cheaper one of those from like the geo series with that's in a blue matte yeah. finish and that's really good but yeah. I don't think that's s series I think that's no. RG uh. <laughs> So that's the end of this epic deal. It's not often we do uh, like half a dozen different epic deals in one video. In one deal. But why not? Why not? Do you think not? people stay to the end? No. <laughs> anyway. So like and subscribe. Uh, have a great day. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye bye.